there was a big economic downturn um, and the practice shrank to almost nothing and um, I was I was unemployed and I, I suddenly out of the blue got a phone call and uh, Alf said to me he said well uh, we're wondering whether you'd be interested in coming around to do some drawings so I came around and did some drawings and I'd been here about maybe about seven or eight weeks and um, then David Nelson came up to me and said, well, you know, we like what you're doing, why don't you just stay? And um, I said, well, yeah, good idea. So I stayed. What I always thought was really good was the consistency because things did change, but people stayed. We've moved together and grown together. So um, that's a very nice thing. And, and you do feel a, you feel a, um, a camaraderie, a link between us, because we've worked together for a long time. And I think that is one of the biggest strengths of what's happened. There was this big job called Canary Wharf. And actually, at the time, Canary Wharf Station was going through a bit of a difficult period. It was quite complicated and um, uh, the client was being very demanding and so I was asked whether I would step in and work on that and take over that and so um, I, I took that on board and then I ran Canary Wharf for the next 10 years um, which was a really good experience because we if you go from, from beginning to end, an end in a building and you do everything um, nothing after that really phases you. Uh, Norman was very heavily involved in that one and we had a very unusual site because it was a very narrow site and so when you put a central core into the building it never made sense um, because you had floor plate on either side of the core and very little at the edges and so we were able to drive a central core, uh, an off, offset core and we were also able to, to then, because we had an offset core, start pushing uh, some environmental ideas. So we had an idea of naturally ventilating the atrium, we had an idea of chilled beams, we had an idea of chilled ceilings, which in Australia nobody had done before. And actually now, interestingly, most of the projects, most of the towers in Australia the city supports offset cores, so they, they start with not having central cores, which is very unusual um, in the world to be doing that. And I think it really did start with us. I think the most interesting thing is linkage. And I think um, what I mean by that is the way in which things are linked together. There's a relationship about um, anything mechanical <laughs> and anything technological. I share some of the same passions as Norman about cars and vehicles and um, I think they do uh, be understanding uh, the development of vehicles, mobility um, and then relating that to buildings and how buildings and, and cars and vehicles interrelate I think is, uh, is, is something which is becoming more and more important. Cities became driven by the car and now uh, they're becoming much more integrated and they're becoming much more um, uh, related in terms of how they work together. I think in practice there's always been this technological drive to always have the latest technology. And I remember when I first came here, um, at that time all architectural practices used what were called dye line printers, which were these horrible printing machines which used ammonia and they stank and you got drawings and they were blue and they stank. And I, when I arrived here the first thing I, which shocked me was they had photocopiers and they had big photocopiers and we always had you know, the practice always had the latest. It was always the latest gadget. And that was always driven by Norman. There was always a belief that if you give people opportunity, if you give people the tools and you get the right people, they'll take the opportunity. <laughs>